Welcome to the SME Two Minute Drill, where we cover a ThoughtSpot feature in two minutes or less. In this video, we're covering users and groups. The clock is running, so let's get started. So, what, assuming you're not using Active Directory, you can go in and manually create groups as well as users in ThoughtSpot. So, first, you would need to create a group and assign it privileges. So, the first thing, give it a group name, a display name, and decide if it's sharing or not shareable. Then you'd also go in and say, hey, does they have a default pin board? Are they belong to other groups? Um, and then which users belong to those groups? Now, down here are all the privileges, and some of these are pretty common sense. Can you upload or download data? Can you share with all users? Uh, but you also can limit if they can use the experimental features, our analysis, uh, and Spot IQ. The two most important ones, administer ThoughtSpot and can administer and bypass role level security. These should be reserved specifically for the administrator groups and should be used lightly. Now, once you've created your groups, then you can assign your specific users to those groups. When you create a user, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you give them a unique username, a display name that they're comfortable with, uh, and you can even specify if the individual user is shareable or not shareable. And then lastly, you will wanna make sure that you give them a email that's associated with one of the whitelisted domains. The reason being is that they would receive an onboarding email, they'd receive email when their spot IQ is done, they'd also receive emails if they're following a specific pin board or headline metric. So, if you would like to follow along with our two minute drill, you can download this exact data set from our website at the link below. Until next time, this has been an SME two minute drill for ThoughtSpot.